When the Montana Grizzlies take the football field against North Dakota State Saturday, they'll be playing in an FCS semifinal game for the first time since 2011. They lost that semifinal game to Sam Houston State and the appearance was later vacated, but the players on that team remember the season like it was yesterday. We played really good football throughout that year. We had some really good games that a lot of people kind of questioned you know, how what, what we were going to be early in the season, kind of very similar to what you saw going on now. And those games that they remember are played in November and uh, get in the playoffs and we made a run, so it was fun. Much like this year's squad, the 2011 Grizz hit a few bumps early in the year. They lost at FBS Tennessee to open the season and then again at Sacramento State in Big Sky Conference play. Montana then won seven consecutive games to close out the regular season, including beating Montana State to claim the conference championship. They were ranked number one um, and we went into the litter box and just dismantled them. Uh, 36 to 10, I think, was the score. It just proves like you belong. Um, you can beat anybody. When you're able to, you know, win that game and, and it's, you know, like this year and, and that year that we played, you win it decisively. It, it definitely gives you a lot of momentum, a lot of uh, confidence going forward into the playoffs. The Grizz rode that momentum to lopsided playoff wins over Central Arkansas and Northern Iowa inside Washington Grizzly Stadium. The way the engineers built that and the way how it comes down, they are on top of you and that noise is deafening. We had to com communicate like sign language at time just so we knew what we were doing because it was so loud. East Helena native Ryan Featherston wore the legacy number 37 that season on a defense that allowed fewer than 20 points per game and really hit its stride over the back half of the season. We had almost 22 different guys. It was very similar to this D. And I think one thing is our similar, or what we had success in 2011 is we love to tackle, <clears throat> tackle people and we hustle to the ball. And offensively, Montana employed a balanced attack that featured multiple weapons. I think what made us dangerous is you know, we didn't have that one guy that you just had to stop. We kind of just had four different guys, five guys that could get it done. Now, 12 years later, the guys from that team are this year's team's biggest fans. I see a lot of similarities. I, I, I you know, I can't really say which team would be better, but I, I like the odds this year going into this game uh, on Saturday for them. Slim Kimmel, MTN Sports.